In this video, we'll learn about the reference line. Reference lines are basically used to make our work easy where we can compare the values which are greater than or less than. Let's say for example, if I want to compare sales which are above average and below average, I want to create a category of both of them. How do I do that? We can do it with the help of this powerful tool named as references. There are various types of references which can use like reference lines, reference distribution, reference band and reference box plot. Let us see that with the help of an example. For that what I have done is I have created a workbook named as reference lines. The database is same that is global superstore 2017. You can download this workbook below this video itself. I have created different sheets here that is reference lines, band and the reference distribution. What I have done is I have created category and subcategory wise sales. If you see that is a category subcategory wise sales. And I want to find out the sales which are done above average, sales which are done below average. So for that I need to create a reference line here. So I'll give you a shortcut method by which you can create. You can simply right click on this vertical axis. I'll just right click on this place and you'll get a dialog box. You can just click on add reference line and you'll get this dialog box here. So what it says you can add multiple types of reference line. One is reference line, reference band, reference distribution and box plot. For the first time I'll be using this reference line that's the line part. Now it says what is the scope of this reference line entire table per pane and per cell. So I'll select this as entire table here and if you observe here the entire table will get a single line itself. If I select this per pane you observe here this pane has one line this pane has one line. So right now I'll select this as entire table and I'll select this entire table here. What is the value I want? I want sum of sales that should be as average. So based on the average I want to find out. So what happens is if I click on OK. I can easily find out this is the average line and the sales below this line are nothing but lower sales. You can say it's below average, these are above average. So easily I can figure out what are the sales done above average, below average. So also I can pick up this, uh, I can see as labels and I can easily show you what are the above average, below average. So for that I'll just drag this subcategory and put into the labels part. So here you can easily identify that is bookcases and chairs are above average. These are the uh, subcategories which are below average. Let us see how do we modify that. If I this is given as average, what if I want to find out the exact value of this reference line. So again I will just right click on this place and I will select as edit reference line. I will get the same dialog box and I will say label. I do not want the label as computation. This label is known as computation here. So I will just click on this drop down and I will select as value. So if you observe this the value of average of all the sales is this much. 743677. Now sometimes if you want to highlight above average region or below average region you can do that. So what you can do is you can see that the formatting given and there is a line which is given here. If you see that is a thin line. So if I click on this drop down what are the different types of line you want. So you see observe the dotted line. If I select some thickness of this line it will keep on increasing. So formatting can also be done. Now if I want to highlight the sales which are below average with some color. So if I want to highlight I can select this option as fill above or fill below. So if I say fill below I want to fill the area below with some dark color. So all the sales which, which are below this average are been filled with the dark color. Same way if you don't want you can just select this white color at the background because there is nothing given here. If you want to fill above average with some color you can select this option all the above average sales will be colored itself. So that is very easy to identify which sales are doing better which categories are doing better. So if you don't want you can just simply select this and click on this option here. So these are some features which you can use it's very powerful tool again. Now if you observe all the lanes they have only one reference line that is only one line for all three panes these are known as panes. If I want average per category so what I can do is I can select this option as per pane and per category I can find out what are the sales done. So I'll just move this dialog box here if you observe that's a sales per pane sales another pane. So in that pane whatever is the average that is the average given here per pane what is the average that is the average given here and it's easy for me to find out in that category these are the uh, you can say sub categories which are not doing well so I need to push them up same way these are doing better so I can work on that. The third one is the per cell that means per cell they will be calculating the average which will be giving the same value so there is no point of using that right now. So I will select as per pane or you can select as entire table so I will just click on ok part. So this is nothing about the reference line which is the same example here. Now the next one which I will be using is nothing but reference band. I have taken the same example subcategory category wise sales which I want. 
now what i'll do is i'll show you how to work on reference banding part you can just band you can color it so i'll just right click on this place and and select this option as add reference line so though they are giving different bands and different things but they'll give you as reference line when you right click here you'll be getting as reference line now i'll select the second option now it says again the same thing what is the scope per pane or per cell so i'll say as entire table i want the scope and what are the different things you want to create a band on so now i'll say yes i want sum of sales which is from minimum that is a band from and band to from where you want to start the band and where you want to end the band so you can select the from and to the scope itself so what i want is i want to select from the average to the maximum let's say from this average to the maximum so if you observe here i'll just move it so you can see this from this average it's very small written here from this average to the maximum if you see there's a line given i want to select and color into particular band itself so you can do that also or else on the other hand if i say from the minimum to the average so if you observe from this minimum value to the average everything has been colored into some particular band you can change the color of this band also by selecting this option you see this option you can select and the band color will be changed so it is easy to recognize what is going on in this particular area there are many many options which are given so i'll select here from this drop down you can select different options right now since i have only one pill at this place so i can select only one sales otherwise if you want you can create a parameter based on the parameter the value or the band color will keep on changing itself so now if you observe this given as average and minimum but what exactly is the minimum value or what exactly is the average value so i'll just click on this drop down and select as value instead of this value if you see now the value has come as 73 that is 73350 minimum value what about the average value for average value i have to select average and i have to click on this drop down select as value now i'll be getting for minimum and average value so i can see properly minimum and maximum and those have been colored into proper place right so i'll just click on this okay bar at any point of time if you want to modify this reference line you can just simply do the same thing you have to right click on this place and select the option as edit reference line so i'll just click on that and the same dialog box will be appeared here so i'll just click on this okay part let's see the next one that is reference distribution line we'll see it practically same example category sub category wise sales and i'll right click on this axis select this add reference line and i'll get the dialog box let's see what distribution says distribution says you can divide your sales into percentage wise 60% 40% 80% so on so i'll select as entire table and if you see it has given us computation 60 80% of average so now if you observe here if i move this dialog box so 60% of average is this one 80% of average is this one now if i say i want 100% and 50% of average so i can just click on this drop down and i can just remove this and i can type here as 50 100 50 comma 100 and if i click outside so if you observe here that is 50% of average and that is 100% of average which is given here so based on that i'll just select this option as value and if you see that's a band which has been created distribution so in short i can say you can uh, you can color the area based on your values itself so if i click on this drop down there are many options you can select percentile percentiles uh, quantiles there is a standard deviation and you can select the options so this way you can just keep on coloring suppose if you want to change it again just select this option and i can say as yes, 150 like this and you can click outside and if you observe this area is been colored properly if you want you can change the color from this section itself and it the, and the color will be change itself right if you see the color has been changing here so these are the different things which makes a work easy to identify the data itself so i hope you have understood how to work with the reference lines that's all for this video